Peter Montalto is attending the conference in the Austrian capital. Well, Peter is an emerging markets economist at Nomura. Thank you so much for joining us. Peter, in terms of what you're expecting from the emerging markets, how much of an impact will it have on these economies? Uh, the fact that actually we're hearing from Ben Bernanke that the UK economy is not growing so much, but we also understand that this is the end of, of quantitative easing. Well, exactly. That's one of the key, I think, worries uh, here at the conference, actually, from a lot of corporates in emerging Europe, really, is um, the dual risks, the dual contagion risks of a slowdown in developed markets, a slowdown in Asia, um, but also, obviously, the periphery crisis uh, and the contagion that can have into emerging Europe as well. So that's really the chatter uh, here behind the scenes uh, at the WEF in, in Vienna. Um, I think, though, the, the U.S. quantity of easing picture is perhaps slightly um, separate from, uh, from the sort of growth story for emerging markets. That's been driven, remember, in emerging Europe, a lot more by Asia demand and the recovery in Asia. Obviously, there have been portfolio flows into emerging yeah. markets and into Eastern Europe as a result of QE, but growth much more from Asia. Uh, Peter, are there any pitfalls that we have to watch out for, for the emerging markets? Because we talk a lot about asset bubbles, about the fact uh, that actually we're not sure exactly where China stands in right now, if it's going to go through a soft landing, or whether in a couple of years, if not sooner, we're going to see a very hard landing from China, and that would presumably drag all of the emerging markets down with it. Well, exactly. That's why uh, we need to see a domestic demand recovery as well in, in emerging European and Central Asian countries. Uh, a lot of this uh, recovery has been driven by export growth. We're not really seeing very much internal demand at all, apart from in Turkey uh, and in Poland, really. Um, so very much uh, the theme of this conference is innovation, uh, domestic, boosting domestic demand, um, those sorts of themes um, as well. Um, but it's, all, it's generally about, I think, securing um, the recovery um, in terms of the policy where people are looking at uh, uh, forming economic alliances and trade alliances. And it's interesting to see how aggressive these emerging European states are here that are at the conference. Um, perhaps yeah. a little more complacency even from Western European com companies here. And, and you talk, of course, about the need for these countries to grow domestically and demand having to come domestically. What about inflation? We had that uh, worrying report from the World Bank saying that they see sluggish growth across the world. And one of the their number one concerns in, in the top five at least is inflation. To deal with inflation, interest rates have to go up. Exactly. But it depends very much what you're looking at, headline inflation or core inflation. And the headline uh, inflation picture really has perhaps subsided a bit as oil fell off. Commodity prices more generally um, have been a little bit more lackluster recently. That's why the OPEC meeting today is important, what that will happen to uh, headline um, commodity price pressures, if you like, as a result. But really for us at Nomura, we're looking much more at core inflation. That story really isn't coming until the second half of this year. That's, some, that's what actually can drive uh, rates much higher, I think, um, in emerging Europe in particular. Um, um, when those core impressions, core pleasures do start coming through, particularly in somewhere like Poland. All right, Peter, thank you so much. Peter Montalto there from Numura at the WEF in Vienna.